So when you're feeling nervous, how does, how does it actually make you feel? Because it makes a lot of people feel like, I don't want to be here. Yeah. I don't want to do this. Yeah. Why am I bothering? I could do something else. Yeah. What does it make you feel? I've had all them thoughts. Every single thought you just said, I've had every single one of them thoughts before a fight. It's a horrible, horrible thing. But being able to, you need the nerves. You need them nerves go. It's horrible before a fight, but I was good at dealing with him. I'd sit back, close my eyes, just breathe and breathe and start visualising the fight and visualising my shots landing, his shots missing, my defences are on point, his defences are weak. I'd, and usually I'd visualise the shot backstage before the fight. The shot of visualising stop, stopping the fight would stop the fight. Um, but just being able to control them nerves. Once them nerves went for me, that's when I started getting beat. I had no right. nerves before the Mitchell fight. I remember being backstage, punching myself, trying to rev myself up. I like, don't feel nervous one bit. I can't get up for it. Yeah. I walked out. I hope the crowd was going to lift me. And as soon as you hear the crowd, I went, and then I walked to the ring. Couldn't get up for it. And the same was with the crawler fight. Couldn't get up for it. I was whacking myself, trying to get fired up, trying to be right, you ready for the fight now. Thinking about it, that might have a lot to do with the training camp beforehand. Mm. So... If you've not had a good training camp, I lack nerves because I was like, well, if I get beat, I've not had a great camp. It's kind of an excuse. I've got an excuse. Yeah, yourself. yeah, yeah. Whereas when, I, when I've done everything that I had to do, I'd be more nervous going into a fight knowing that there's nothing more I could give. If I get beat now, he's beating me at my absolute best.